All right, moving on to item 6.3 or 905 AM. Again, presentation of proclamation designating the month of February 2024 as Black History Month and celebrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And both uh, myself and Vice Chair Crandall will go up as uh, we work simultaneously on this together. Yes, and so uh, commonly uh, Rick would be here as he put some effort into this as well, and we know that uh, he may uh, be tending to some things right now. So um, we'll go ahead and read and, and move forward from here. So uh, a proclamation designated the month of February 2024, Black History Month, and celebrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Whereas the Lake County Branch of National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, will celebrate a combination of Black History Month and Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. As we reflect on the proud legacy of courage and dedication from visionary leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., Roy Wilkins, Rosa Parks, Kentanji B. Jackson, and com local community leaders like Sarah Wright, Sarah Anazano, Kenneth Bagsby, Senior, Greta Zeet, Beza Bessie Bell, and Lynette Kirkwood. The NAACP has been at the forefront of efforts to protect our democracy from assault, voting rights of people of color, refusal to enforce the Americans with Disabilities Act, LGBTQ discrimination, a woman's right to choose, workplace prejudice and hostility, voter suppression, suppression, gerrymandering, and urging the passing of the John Lewis Voters' Rights Advancement Act, which will ensure the protection of civil and voting rights under the United States Constitution. And whereas the NAACP history is one of the dedication, one of dedication and struggle to maintain equality and justice for all citizens of the United States, and whereas the local branch, like other NAACP branches throughout the state and country, diligently work on social programs aimed towards the elimination of banning books, rewriting our vast contributions to this great nation, eliminating racial hatred, bigotry, and poverty. And whereas the Lake County branch of NAACP is led by Rick Mayo, president and 1982 founder of the Lake County branch, now therefore be it proclaimed that February 2024 is designated Black History Month and a celebration of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday in the Lake County branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People is commended on the vital role it has played in improving the quality of life in our local community. Further on this occasion, the branch has extended its best wishes and continued success. Passed, passed and adopted the sixth day of February 2024, signed Chair of the Supervisors of Lake County, Bruno Sabatier. On behalf of uh, the NAACP here in Lake County, I want to I want you to know I appreciate this and I appreciate all the uh, work that you're doing and will do in the future to assure the equality and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. So this is an important month. Um, we need to never forget our history where we've come from, the great strides that we've made to create a world of opportunity for everyone to have equal opportunity and equal justice and equal treatment. Uh, this past month, it kind of started, we're also celebrating Martin Luther King's birthday on this pro proclamation. Appreciate Supervisor Green joining us in Clear Lake uh, over at the Methodist Church where there was a celebration of Martin Luther King. Uh, you mentioned Lynette Kirkwood. Uh, she's an amazing soul that helps to organize that with a team. Um, and it was an amazing event to be a part of. And throughout the month of February, you will see other events that will take place. I know I will be, I think it's February 22nd, if that's the correct Thursday date, uh, over at Woodland Community College. Annually, they always do a Black History Month event, and I will be there, and that one is led by the, I'm gonna say, infamous Randall Cole, uh, who definitely can move a room whenever he starts to speak. Uh, so I wanna invite everybody to look for these events, take part in those events, uh, and learn about our history, and learn about where we're going, and how we, on an individual basis, as well as our communities, can do better, uh, because we need to learn from the past.